grew up with Atari. I'm a little too young, but I've always appreciated the simplicity of the games. So when I heard that the Atari 2600 Plus was coming out, I was really excited to pick one of these up. And I have a small collection of games that I always thought would be really cool to actually play on an Atari. Smaller than I imagined it to be. A lot lighter too. I guess there's not much in here. All right, so there's the game cartridge right here at the top. Wow, I gotta say that really feels like an original Atari controller. They did a great job reproducing that. I did a whole unboxing of the Atari 2600 Plus and didn't realize that my camera wasn't rolling, so I didn't capture any of it. <laughs> uh, so I'll just give you the highlights. So inside the box, the actual 2600, one controller, a power cable that's actually Atari branded. So USB-C on one side and just your normal USB on the other side. Plug into a power brick. Also comes with an HDMI cable that's also Atari branded. It also comes with the actual cartridge itself with the 10 and one games, Adventure, Combat, Dodge em, Haunted House, Maze Craze, Missile Command, Real Sports Volleyball, Surround, Video Pinball, and Yard's Revenge. That looks like this. And then it has the dip switches in the back, so you adjust the dip switches based on which game you wanna play. So, cool. Nice. So the actual 2600 itself modeled just like the original. Power is here. Color or black and white switch is there. Game select and game reset. On the back side, you've got room for two controller ports and then difficulty on either side, the HDMI, the USB-C power. And then on the left side here, you can kind of see it here. You can change between the uh, 16 by nine aspect ratio and the four by three aspect ratio, just with a little click. All right, so compared to the original 2600, mine, mine's a little beat up. It's in a state of disrepair right now, um, which is why I really wanted the 2600. But the 2600 plus is much, much smaller. Right, as you'd expect. but looks very similar. Even the controllers feel very similar. So on the left is an original 2600, on the right is the new 2600 plus. My original is, is a little stiff, a little stiffer than my new one, but I don't know if that's uh, just wear and tear over time or if it's always been that way. I can't remember. The actual buttons themselves, the new button is a little more clicky, but they both have you know the same indention in the middle, really comfortable. On the bottoms, the, the feet pads are in slightly different places on the new one, and the new one has a, a textured plastic on the bottom. I guess the old one was kind of textured too, but not, not this much. But yeah, fuel, whoops. Yeah, they feel very similar. The hookups themselves are actually the same. So if you have a few extra old controllers hanging around, you can plug them directly into the Atari 2600 Plus. One of the main reasons I wanted this new Atari 2600 was I've got a small collection of Atari games. Like I said, my original Atari is in a state of disrepair and I wanted a way to actually play the cartridges. So here's just a few. Combat. This one's actually on that 10 and one cartridge. But I wanted a way to play these games. One of the things that was really interesting to me about the 2600 Plus was that it actually plays original cartridges. So unlike, you know, something like this or the Super Nintendo Mini or the NES Mini, you know, you can play actual original hardware on this and use real controllers. You know, I, I really like the Nintendo versions of the mini consoles. This PlayStation one really wasn't that great. You know, the Atari 2600 Plus, it's still technically a, a mini console, I guess, but feels completely different. Now, there are 
so many ways to play Atari games these days. Is it worth it to buy, you know, one of these? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's definitely easier, <laughs> you know, just to play them on a retro handheld. Or I think the most convenient way to do it is the Atari 50 collection. This gives you access to more than 100 Atari games, plus some museum features and just a, a big celebration of Atari. Really cool. But if you have a handful of old Atari games and you want to play them on real hardware, this is definitely the way to go. Hey guys, real quick, if you like this video, hit like and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. All right, let's get back to it. All right, so I've got it plugged into my monitor. Let's see how it starts up. And we're in. All right, so if we change the dip switches on the back to video pinball. Those first three up, fourth one down. And just to try things out, I'm gonna put it on 16 by nine. All right, so 16 by nine looks really stretched out here. Let's flip it back to four, three. Is that there it is. Switch, flip back to four three. Okay, and you can do that whenever you want. It's pretty cool. So one interesting thing about the 10 and one game cart that came with the Atari 2600 Plus is the games that it doesn't have. So okay, you've got Adventure, you've got Video Pinball, Yard's Revenge, those ones that you expect to be there. But you're also missing some pretty obvious ones, like where's Asteroids? Like where's Asteroids, for example? That one seems like it should be there without question. Another weird thing is combat. So if I'm not mistaken, combat is only a two player game and the Atari 2600 Plus only comes with one controller. So unless you have another controller and someone who's willing to play with you, combat is not gonna be all that fun. So most of my Atari games have been sitting in someone's attic for, I don't know, 30 years or so. So there's a decent amount of buildup and grime and just general nastiness on the contacts. So after cleaning them, a few of them worked in the Atari 2600 plus, but a few of them still aren't working. Um, you know, the contacts are clean now, the outside case uh, is, is still a little grungy, but the actual contacts are clean. I'm not sure, what to do to make those work. I've read on Atari Age that some people just turn it off, turn it back on several times, and sometimes they work. Um, not sure if it's a firmware issue or maybe just my games are damaged. Um, I mean, could be, they're, they're 40 years old at this point. So that's just something to be aware of. Um, I'm not sure if mine still work in my original Atari. I, I need to have it repaired before I can know for sure. So anyway, bottom line, some of them still don't work in the 2600 plus. But all in all, this is a very fun little mini console. It's, it's not actually playing the game like your original Atari would. It's when you insert your cartridge, it's literally dumping the ROM into an emulator. So you're playing an emulated version of the cartridge that you just put into the Atari 2600 Plus. That said, I haven't noticed any significant input lag. I, I noticed a little bit on Video Pinball um, and maybe a little bit on Donkey Kong, but nothing substantial. In general, these games look, play, and feel a lot like they did on the original. So all in all, a very cool piece of hardware. I'm really glad to have it. You know, it's just, it's more than just a mini console because you can take these old cartridges and play them on here. This is the kind of thing I really wish Nintendo would do so that we could have a true NES mini and a true Super Nintendo mini that play the old cartridges. By and large, I'm really happy with this console. A few of my old games don't play. Uh, I probably need to try to clean them a little more thoroughly. This has actually got me thinking about other Atari games that I need to go pick up now. So in the comments below, let me know your must play Atari 2600 games. This isn't really my review of the 2600 plus. I think it's a really cool console. I'm gonna use it a lot, at least for the you know near future. Um, it's more of just my first impressions. What do I think? Like I said, I didn't grow up with the Atari 2600. Um, I've been collecting for a while, but I came about it much, much later. So um, 
Did you guys pick one of these up? If you did, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Oh yeah.